going to be talking about beer pairing 101. What kind of beer to have with what type of food? In fact, Javier got to sample this, so I am completely jealous. <laughs> and uh, he's going to bring us what he found out here. When you host a party or just have a few people over for dinner, it's nice to be able to serve your meal with the right beverage. But how do you know what it is when, especially when you're talking like beer? Jay, uh, Chef Jay Boginski from District American Kitchen and Wine Bar is here to explain the best pairings because when we think of pairings, we kind of think wine and food, but here we're talking about beer. Well, like you said, a lot of people are very traditionally used to pairing wines with their food. Uh, uh, so we're doing something here this summer where we're doing a five-course tasting of all beers. Uh, you know, we're District American Kitchen and Wine Bar, a little less pretentious, uh, still as ingredient-driven, but, you know, wanting to do things that, you know, a lot of times people don't know how to order wine or they don't know wines well enough to be comfortable enough. They're looking to the person next to them to order for them or or things like that, but Americans love them some beer, so, you know, we're, 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 we're having some fun with it. You know, we teamed up with uh, Alaskan Brewery, and on the 30th here on Thursday at uh, 6.30, we're going to hold a really private $60, uh, five-course, uh, beer included, um, you know, for from 6.30 to probably 8.30, and it starts in the wine room, where I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the first course, uh -huh. and then we take everyone into the dining room and do the other courses, but we're just having fun with it, and it's beer, you know, like we said, there's a big movement right now with craft beers and micro brews, a lot of people making their own beers and things like that, and... And how, how important is it to find, I, I guess, is it a better beer than, you know, people think, okay, I go home and I pop open a Miller Lite and... I think it's a matter of what people like, you know, uh, think something is only as good as if you like it or not, and, and why force yourself to drink something that you do not like, you know. Yeah. The yeah. way we started with this, we, we had a drink of each one of them, and we, we thought what would we think would be great with that, you know, I, we tried the summer ale, uh, we, so then we decided to do with that a smoked scallop with uh, kind of a, a fennel slaw and you know we, we did the second course uh, we have an IPA it has a little bit more of a alcohol content a little bit more bolder so we like to do things like spicy or chili what do you have right here and what beer does this go with this one I we did a lamb that we stuffed with plum and spinach uh, potato risotto and then a, a little thyme jus um, and with that one I'm, I'm doing the amber and it's not quite as, uh, you know, like, a, like a, a blonde or a white ale is a little, you know, you'll do with something like a fish or a chicken. The amber stands up a little bit, but it won't overpower the lamb as well. So people who like lamb, they want to taste the lamb, but it just complements it. It's just like wine. You're, you're pairing things that if it has more of a hoppy feel to it or more of a hoppy finish or less or a smoother finish or, you know, the flavor characteristics, it's, it's still the same idea. It's just doing it with something that people are much more familiar with. So next uh, week at the event, uh, you will show people how to do this and how to pick out the right beer and food. Absolutely. We'll be, I'll be out welcoming everyone. We'll do the first course, like we said, in our wine room. Uh, be a beautiful event. I'm going to be using a smoking gun, kind of a little bit of a show as well. Uh, but you can come meet me, come say hello, and I'll, we can talk about beers. All right. Also, uh, with Alaskan Beer Company, there's another cool event, uh, Phoenix Cook, taking place that Saturday. So there is a lot of eating to be had next weekend. Oh, right? yeah. That'll be, what, two or 3,000 of our closest friends. Uh, we do that one every year, one of our favorite events. Uh, come on out for that as well. It's a great, great event. All right. Well, you've been torturing us with the smell <laughs> of this great food. So time to eat up. Thank you very much for Thank coming you. in. Good luck Thank with you. your event. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll put all the information on the events as well on azfamily.com. Yeah, absolutely.